Good evening, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great start to the new week. It's part of the new month. Um, I know I did. It was a nice day here today. Weather was gorgeous. I got an extra walk in because uh, my eldest only had a partial day at school today. And so I got to a middle of the day walk in to go grab her, which is always nice. So, you know, the weather was beautiful and we got some extra fresh air. So, you know, I, I love days like that, which gives me, you know, anything to give me an excuse to uh, get up and get out and get a little bit of extra movement going on. Um, so I'd love to hear how, you know, how it's going for you. I know some places in the country like us are still a little chilly. It was a little cold. It's a little cool here. My, um, kids are all on the swim team and two out of the three have outdoor practice and one of them refuses to go because it's still pretty chilly and I don't really blame her to be honest I don't want to be swimming when it's only 60 degrees outside um so hopefully someday soon it will actually become pool weather for us but uh you know we're getting there we've got two weeks left to school my kids you know are counting down the days till uh, school ends and vacation season officially starts right and that's sort of a you know that's a big deal around here we're going on a, a family trip in a couple of weeks or right at the end of june again taking the kids back to disney for those of you who are following that we went there uh, in april i surprised them with an awesome trip to disney for a week it was just me and the three kids and uh, we had such a great time that we were deciding where to go this time and they wanted to go back. So we are going back and this time the whole family will be going well for part of the time. I'm taking them down myself for the first couple of days and then then um, Misa will join us down there middle of the week. So it should be fun. We get a little bit of a, I get a little bit of just me kid time and then we get a whole family time, which will be really nice again. Um, and that brings me to my topic tonight about it's vacation season, right? I know so many people that as soon as school's getting out, it's time to go on a vacation. And what does vacation do to so many of us? It's it's hard. Sometimes vacation is really, really hard when we are on a plan and we're trying to uh, do live a healthy life. And vacation can just really, if we're not careful, throw us for an absolute loop, right? It can it can totally kick us off our game. And I actually get a lot of calls from clients. Recently, I've been talking to a lot of people um, who have called me and, and they're getting ready to go on vacations. And how do they do it? How do they manage on vacation without coming home, you know, gaining five pounds, 10 pounds, right? Because we can all do that. We can all go sort of off the deaf, off the, off the deep end. Um, when it comes to when it comes to vacations and we get we go overboard and so it's something really to be really mindful about and the truth is we don't have to go overboard when we when we are on a vacation we can do really well and be really successful and still enjoy our vacation and it was really amazing this past december we went on a family vacation we took my kids my my family took my parents um, for their 50th anniversary on a cruise and we had never been on a cruise before. And I know I had heard the stories of cruises and food and food after food after food after food. And now keeping kosher makes that a little bit easier for us because some of those choices aren't there. But trust me, plenty of the stuff on that cruise ship were kosher, was kosher. And there was plenty of stuff that we could be eating. But I went into that trip, into that vacation with a really strong mindset that that wasn't going to happen, that I was not going to derail myself. And I actually came home having been really, really successful on that trip. And, you know, it, and it's really, it's possible. It's really possible. So the first thing you want to do if you're going on a vacation is you want to set your goals before you go. You want to know where you want to be. Hey, Gail, you want to know where you're going to be and what you want to do, right? Where you want to be at the end of that trip. Right? Are you, do you want to continue? If you're on a weight loss plan, do you want to continue to have lost weight? If you're on your live, hit hashtag live. And if you're on, a, catch it in the replay, put hashtag replay. Because I can see people are coming in, but I can't see faces. It's just giving me a little number up at the top. Um, but you want to know what your goal is. What is your goal at the end of your vacation? When you come home, where do you want to be? What, you know, are you okay if you put on a little bit of weight? Some people are. Are you, um, do you want to stay the same? Will you be just satisfied if you want, if you stay the same, right? Where you are. A lot of people are there. Hey, Gail. Um, and 
some people really want to continue if they're on a weight loss they want to continue to lose so that's the number one thing before you go on a vacation is figuring out where you want to be when you get home from that vacation right this and we've talked about this a lot where it's figuring out what you want your end game to be and then rewind the tape back and figure out how, what are the steps that you're going to take to do there so but no matter what those steps are where you want to be most people don't want to come home having gained weight i can tell you i rarely rarely do i hear people saying i'm okay if i put on a bunch of weight okay so that's usually off the table the two the the two things that i pretty commonly here pretty equally is I just want to stay the same or I want to continue to lose and both are possible but you got to know which of those goals which of those things are your goal right and then you go forward from there so the first thing you got to do is you got to make a plan you got to plan out what you're going to have what you're going to what you're going to eat during that time right how are you going to do it how are you going to stick to your plan your plan on vacation may not be the same plan that you do the rest of the time and that's okay right so many people talk to me about, oh, I'm going to have a cheat day or I'm going to have a, you know, whatever. And I always say, what's a cheat day or a cheat week if I'm going on vacation? Who are you cheating on, right? You're cheating on yourself. Does that make any sense? No, oh, it doesn't make any sense, right? So if you're shifting your plan, that's okay. It's just a shift in your plan. It's, com it's coming up with a different plan, a different rules for that time period based on the, the success that you want to have, okay? So that's the first thing. You gotta come up with a plan. A plan that's gonna be doable, a plan that's gonna be comfortable, a plan that you're gonna actually enjoy while you're on that vacation. But that's gonna help you reach those goals, right? That's the first thing. The second thing is utilize the fact that you can be much more active on a vacation, on a trip, right? So that's a great place that a vacation or a trip is a great place to to use your healthy habits of Neat exercises, right? Neat is non-exercise thermal, non-exercise thermal diet. It's basically getting extra healthy motion. I can never say the words, so I'm stumbling over my words. But it's basically getting exercise just from being out and walking around and getting extra healthy motion, right? Not necessarily hitting the gym or going for a run or doing something like that, right? So that's super important. Using the stairs instead of the elevator if you're staying in a hotel, right? That would be a neat exercise, right? Um, you know, if you have the opportunity to walk someplace instead of taking a, a cab, that would be neat exercise, right? Those are things that you can do on your vacation. You know, hopping in the pool, right? There are some things you can do. Just play with your kids. Totally different things, right? Those would be the kinds of things you can be much more active on a vacation, right? So, so easy. Next thing, drink your water, right? No matter where you are on a vacation, no matter where you are on a trip, you can always drink your water, right? Water bottle goes everywhere with us, right? I carry my water bottles all over. When we go to Disney, I know you've seen, you saw my pictures. My kids all had their water bottles. I had my water bottle, right? It goes with us everywhere. Every place will fill up a water bottle for you. Disney definitely does. You just take it up to any of the restaurant places and say, can you fill my water bottle? And they will fill it right up for you, right? And they'll do that. Um, when we were on our cruise, Carry my water bottle everywhere, right? And there were water stations that you could just go and you could fill it up. No big deal, right? Make sure when you're on vacation, the next biggest thing is get enough sleep, right? Sleep is so crucial to overall health. And we know that, that people who don't get enough sleep tend to put on more weight. People who don't get enough sleep struggle with it. So vacation is the best time to make sure you're getting enough sleep, right? Because we're re we're resting, we're relaxing. Don't push it till all crazy hours of the night. Um, hey, Michael, um, you know, so those are some really easy, easy tips to keep it, to, you know, to stay on track when you're on a vacation. A vacation doesn't have to be a deal breaker for you. I can't tell you the majority of my clients who call me before they go on a trip and ask me, you know, to guide them through and to set up their plan for them, come home, even if they say that their plan is just to maintain, almost all of them come home having lost. Because when you go into a vacation, when you go onto a trip with a plan and with a mindset of, I'm not going to just let myself run amok, right? You usually do even better. You usually stick to your plan pretty well. Because when you do that, you start changing the focus. It's no longer about just about the food, right? Even when we were on a cruise, I had my food plan. I knew what I was going to eat. So the rest of it, it wasn't about the food. I didn't care, right? I ate my food. I ate what I wanted. 
I ate what was on my plan, but there was so many other things going on, so many other things that I could participate in, that that's where I found my enjoyment. And which actually, to me, truthfully, makes it easier than when I'm at home. Because when I'm at home, right, old bad habits come up, I get stressed, I start eating, I get bored, I start eating, I stay up too late, and I start eating because I have my kitchen right there, right, all those things. So when you're on vacation, a lot of those things are eliminated, at least they are for me, right? When I'm on, when we were on our cruise, I didn't have a bunch of food in my room to eat, right? Even when we went to Disney, we did have snacks and stuff, but I wasn't going to touch me of that. That was portioned out. That was for the kids. That was, right, you know, done so that we, so that the kids had what they needed, and I had what I needed, and I had my plan laid out. So that's where this goes with anything. Anything that you're going to do, make a plan, right? Whether it's a vacation, whether it's not a vacation, whether it's food, whether it's not food. But planning is number one key. Figuring out where you want to be at the end of that time period knowing how that's going to feel, envisioning how that's going to feel, and rewind backwards and set yourself up for success. So I hope you have a great night. If you're planning to go on any fun vacations this summer, let me know where, because I always love to hear where people are going. Um, you know, like I said, we're, we're heading back down to Orlando this summer, taking the kids back to Disney, and I'm a little, it's going to be a longer trip this time, so I'm a little nervous about that, because we're going to be there for quite a while. Um, but it'll be super fun, and it will be a lot of walking, so I know I will be getting in my exercise. Hey, Karen. I know I will be getting in my exercise from walking all the parks for, for all those days. We're going to be at the parks for nine days. Um, you know, so, it'll, you know, it should be super fun. But, uh, you know, let me know where you're going. And if you need help figuring out a plan, a plan of action, um, yes, Karen, you know, having a plan is key. We were on that cruise together. and We both did great on it. Um, if you if you need help coming up with a plan, if you're going on, on a trip, big or small, even a weekend vacation, even a weekend getaway, it's still important to have that plan because we can throw ourselves really amok and just in a weekend if we don't stick to if we don't have a plan going in. So I hope you know I hope this jogs some thoughts for you, some ideas, and as you're planning your summer plans and your summer vacations and your summer getaways, if you need help figuring out how to stick to your plan, how to stay on, feel free to reach out anytime. Have a great night. I am off to go get my healthy sleep very soon because I'm exhausted. It's, it's only Monday and uh, I'm already tired and worn out, so I need to rest up for the rest of my week. So I hope you have a great night and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.